What's going on, everybody? I go by the name of Curry, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. All right, guys, today we're talking about an icon in the NFL. We're talking about Barry Sanders. And if you don't know who he is, I'm going to give you a quick crash course about who he is, what he's done, what he's contributed to the game of football, and why after 20 years after a historic season, Nike chose to bring back a limited edition version of his famous cleat. Without further ado, let's take a look. First things first, you get a plain Nike box here. So while you guys are looking at this plain Nike box, I want to run down a little bit of information about Barry Sanders. Now, again, if you don't know who Barry Sanders is, first of all, you are completely under a rock. Barry Sanders is one of the most iconic players in the NFL. He's 51 years old now, but back in the late 80s and the 90s, nobody was touching Barry Sanders on the field. He was known as the most elusive running back in NFL history, and his accolades and his achievements were a mile long. Here's a few. 10 appearances at the NFL Pro Bowl. Six appearances on the first team All-Pro in the NFL. NFL MVP for 1997, two-time NFL Offensive Player of the Year, one-time NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year, 1988 Heisman Trophy recipient, member of the NFL 100th Anniversary All-Pro Team, and his number, number 20, has been officially retired by the Detroit Lions. So, like I said, a pretty big deal. You can spend all day just looking at highlight clips on YouTube of Barry Sanders, and it wouldn't even begin to scratch the surface about what that man did for the game. Now, what's weird is that Barry Sanders actually retired pretty abruptly from the game of football, and there was a lot of controversy, a few lawsuits involved with his contract, contract, payout bonuses, things of that nature. There was a lot of legal disputes between him and the Lions, and nobody truly knows why he retired, but at the end of the day, a lot of people were thankful for what he contributed to the game of football. Now, Barry Sanders played a lot of ball in the Nike Zoom Turf Jet. Now, this shoe was made super, super popular by Barry Sanders, and in an interview, he actually said, even though I've only played football in high school for this long, or college for this long, or the NFL for 10 years, I've been a Nike spokesperson for 30 years. And Nike decided to honor him by bringing out a special edition of that Zoom Tar Jet 97. Let's take a look. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Nike Zoom Turp Jet 97 Barry Sanders. On Thanksgiving Day, Nike actually released 2,053 pairs of this shoe only. It was a very limited run. 250 of those pairs were actually released in Detroit right before kickoff of the Chicago Bears Detroit Lions Thanksgiving Day game. And of course, the rest of the pairs, which is how I got mine, were released on Nike.com. They sold out very, very quickly. Retail price on these, I believe, was $179. Don't quote me on that because I'm not going to lie. I actually had a coupon code saved. It actually did get like 30% off or 20% off of these or something like that, which made it even more of a pickup for me. But at the end of the day, I think these were like $179, I want to say. Really not a bad price when you consider the history behind the shoe and the materials that were used in this shoe. So let's take a deeper look at those. All right, starting with the upper here, again, you get the classic Zoom Turf Jet 97 silhouette here. The way are still the same the colors are still the same everything is still the same but like I said really nice materials here if you'll notice on the upper portion of the shoe right here by the collar you got a really nice tumbled leather here this really nice leather on the blue portions here these that I'll call them the waves on the waves here you have this really nice blue grain leather but it's a very soft leather now right in front of where that white tumbled leather is is a really smooth gray nubuck material now that nubuck actually extends down into the mud guards of the shoe and also is the material used on the straps that are going over the laces. Now, if you'll notice over that gray new buck on the strap, you actually have a stitched in Lions logo. And on the left shoe here over that gray new buck, you have the number 20 also stitched in. Very, very nice attention to detail on this shoe. In addition to that stitch emblem for the Lions and the number 20, you also have a stitch swoosh that's right here on the lateral and medial side of the sneaker here down by the heel. And you also have that stitched blue swoosh down here in the toe box. Of course, you got that big Zoom Air unit right there, making sure that that man had what he needed to keep up with all that speed that he had on him when he was on the field. Moving around to the back of the shoe, you get Barry Sanders' autograph right here, his signature right here on this little jeweled piece on the heel. Really, really nice touch. Now, that actually matches the back side of the tongue on the left shoe here. You get a stitched-in version of that same Barry Sanders' autograph. On the back of the right tongue, you also get the word elusive stitched in. Now, as I mentioned before, NFL.com ranked him as the most elusive running back in NFL history. No dispute there. And last but not least, you get this really nice grippy but translucent and icy outsole on the shoe, just like on the OG version of the Turf Jet. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the shoe. Again, 
Fantastic shoe if you're a Barry Sanders fan or if you're just a fan of NFL ball because there's no way you could be a fan of NFL football from the 80s and the 90s and not bring up Barry Sanders' name in the conversation. All right, now there's really only two things that I really didn't like about the shoe or the release of the shoe. Now you guys know I gotta get a little rant off, so just give me a second. First things first is that this shoe was released in 2053 pairs only. Now, 2053 pairs matches the same number of yardage that Barry Sanders rushed for in 1997. However, there's nothing here that actually says how many pairs or what number pair this was out of that 2053. Usually when a shoe is only limited to a certain number like that and it's really hyped up that number and there's a story behind that number, normally somewhere you'll actually see that number and you'll see which pair this was specifically out of that 2053 pairs. That's nowhere on this shoe. I didn't see anywhere on the shoe inside or out that talked about what number pair this was out of 2053. That's disappointing, honestly, because when you have a shoe like that, you really would like to know what number out of the 2000 pairs was this shoe specifically. The other thing that really kind of bothers me about the shoe, it's not really about the shoe or about Nike, it's just about how trash the Lions are right now. They got a .292 win percentage in the standings right now. They're ranked last in their division right now. They're on a five game losing streak. And that includes the game that Barry Sanders actually helped to coach when they released this shoe on Thanksgiving. So it just really sucks because I know it probably took the wind out of the sails of a lot of Detroit Lions fans because you guys have really been suffering this season, hoping that you guys are able to make the playoffs or hoping Hopefully that you guys just get back on a win streak again. I feel it for you guys. I'm sorry for you guys. It really, really sucks. But at least you did get a really nice, iconic shoe out of the deal. But I'm nitpicking. All in all, this is a really great shoe. Incredible story behind it. Really, really nice tribute to one of the all-time greats in the NFL. And hey, hopefully you guys were able to pick up your pair if you are a Barry Sanders fan. All right, guys, that's all I got to say about these. Now it's time for you guys to sound off down in the comments and let me know what you guys think about the 97 Zoom Turf Jet by Barry Sanders and by Nike. Did you guys like this shoe? Are you Barry Sanders? fans and if so what's one of your favorite Barry Sanders highlights let me know down in the comments below I'd love to hear them. oh of course while you're down there in the comments make sure that you click on that subscribe button so we can welcome you into the sneaker fetish family to make sure you don't miss out on any more heat that comes through like these because I guarantee you I got a lot more heat on the way as always I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on sneaker fetish taking a look at these with me unboxing with me for a couple of minutes I go by the name of Kari this is the Nike zoom turf jet 97 with Barry Sanders and until next time, I'm out.